Hi, Navi, Jacob Zavi, Home Center and Technology Specialist in Cheshire. Right, okay, part two of the Tractor S2 Mark III. We did the unboxing on the first video. We're gonna get it going with an initial connection with the software. You need a laptop, download Tractor Pro 3 software, which is from the Tractor website, unzip it, install it. It will then prompt you for an option to click buy. Click that, you will then download a native access software again from the Tractor website. Remember the license key from the first video, get that in, close the native software down, reopen Tractor Pro 3, which I am gonna open now. Whilst that's opening, the actual unit itself, it is powered by USB, which the cable comes in the box. Let me plug that in for you guys out there, fancy cars, when you put the ignition on, you get it all lighting up like so on your dashboard. That's pretty cool. Put that back down there. On the Tractor Pro 3 software, you've got the mix in the middle, CDJA on the left, CDJ or B on the right. Okay, if you don't get the prompt when you open it, I want you to click the cog top right. Just get the audio settings sorted. In this room, we've got a serious amount of power, Miller and Kreisel speakers and Lingdorf audio. We could have a mini nightclub in here, but for now, we're just gonna run this through the laptop speakers itself. On that first tab, click on audio setup. You want the output to be the actual sound card on the laptop itself. You can just select it there, it's part of the shared mode, okay. On that output routing, just make sure that output master is speakers, headphones left, speakers, headphones right. You can close that, auto saves. Right, bottom left is my USB drive with music on. Now at the bottom, I've got my list of music. I want you to get into using the actual unit itself on the tractor. At the top right of the first CDJ, we have the browse dial. I can browse there. If I press that button below, I've got the big list view on the laptop screen, which is brilliant. So go back to that. Okay, I'm gonna just scroll through some music there. Select the music, press the dial button, that loads it into the tractor. Then we need to start playing it. So what we do is, bottom left, hit the play. That's playing, as you can see there. Also on the laptop screen, there is no sound. That is because this here, take that up to about halfway. There you go, and congratulations, you are now playing your first track from the USB pen drive. It's been loaded into the tractor. The audio is going back to the laptop. Okay, a bit of a quick one with the platter. That speeds it up, that slows it down. You can also scratch the music, which we're gonna come on to on a later video. Mixer settings, keep everything pointing up. That's advanced stuff for a further video. Leave that in the middle there. So yeah, you've done it, right. Okay, on the left there, you can see in your laptop screen, you've got the audio playing. Have a play around with this. Try and load some other tracks in. Hit the play and pause. Load it in, always do the dial. Press it to load it in. So, until the next video, we'll see you later. But for now, like this video, subscribe, get any questions in, and we'll see you later.